Hey guys, and welcome back to Pro Speed Baseball. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to stop pulling off the ball, why you're pulling off the ball, and I'm gonna give you two great drills, great field drills, to get you staying on the ball longer and hitting it harder every single time. Let's go ahead and get started. So to learn how to stop pulling off the ball, we have to first understand what pulling off the ball is. And how I like to define pulling off the ball is whenever we get into contact and our body just kind of pulls off the ball or around and we just get these glancing blows on the ball. And the reason why this happens more times than not is because of what we initiate our swing with. And what that means is if I'm in my stance here and I go to swing, what's the first thing to, that fires when I go to the ball? Is it my hips, is it my shoulders? Well, I would like most of my guys, I need them to think their hands are the first thing that goes to the ball, just like I talked about in the head down video. That's another video of, that'll help you stay on the ball as well. I'll post a link right there, or right there as well. So. Um, but that's not the only, the only thing that keeps you from pulling off the ball because I work with a couple guys to keep their head down on the ball but they're still pulling way off with their body. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you these two drills. The first drill is where we, all you're going to do is you're going to get down on your knees and what this does by getting down on our knees it cuts off our hips and we, want, we don't want to rotate nearly as much when we're on our knees. And what you're going to do is you're going to use a lighter bat or you can choke up like I am on, on your regular bat. And what you're going to do is you're going to take a good 50 swings where we don't rotate our shoulders at all. You're going to go from the start, you're going to load your hands, and you're going to swing. I'll show you what this looks from down the line. We're going to load our hands and swing. Okay, so we're going to get 50 of these repetitions in. And the big thing we want to do is we just don't want to rotate our shoulders at all. We're not looking for speed or anything right here. We're looking for the exact opposite of pulling off a ball, which is yanking our shoulders out to keeping our shoulders not moving at all while swinging the bat. This is gonna start getting you to learn how to stay on the ball longer. Now, if you have a tee that you can get down real low like this, we can, after you get those 50 repetitions in, you get another 50 repetitions in, same thing, just using your lead hand, keeping those shoulders real square and hitting the ball. Now, contact isn't gonna be nearly as important on these. All we're worrying about here is learning how to swing the bat while keeping these shoulders nice and square. Now, the second drill is gonna be kind of a two-part progression drill where we use the T. And what we're gonna do is the first part, we're going to get into our stance and we're gonna do the same exact feeling drill, but we're gonna have both hands on the bat. Okay, so we can choke up on this one a little bit and we're not gonna move anything else but our upper body. And all we're doing here is the same drill that we were doing on our knees, but we're getting used to doing it on our feet from down the line the same thing. We're just going to have both hands on the bat and we're going to let go and we're going to swing without rotating our upper body. Then we're going to get another 50 swings just like this, getting into your perfect T setup. Okay, now you can see the bat head is going to kind of pull me around just a little bit. We really want to think about keeping those shoulders nice and square through the ball. Now the last progression of the second drill is we're going to do the same thing, but we're just going to let our lower body work a little bit. So same thing, keeping our shoulders nice and square, but we're going to let that backside turn up onto that back toe so we can start getting used to our lower body firing and swinging whilst keeping our shoulders nice and square. So look something like this. Okay. And those are the feelings we want to get whenever we're learning how to keep from pulling off of the ball. Now, once you get into, once you get 50 reps of each, you're going to do 50 dry swings from your knees, 50 hitting balls from your knees, and then 50 of the first progression where you keep your lower body inactive, and then 50 of the last progression where you let your lower body fire. And once you get into that, what you want to feel like when you start getting back to a full swing is when you get into your load stride position that the hands are going to be the first thing to fire. So if you were getting into this load stride position and stay perfectly still, the hands would be the first thing to move because that's what you want to do. What happens when you're pulling off the ball is the body's out racing the hands and we're getting these glancing blows. So to not pull off the ball, we have to do the exact opposite where we let our hands out race the body. Now guys, some of the key checkpoints you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to when you're doing these drills from the knees and before you start working the body is that when you're checking yourself on camera, we're gonna watch this back shoulder and make, the, the, make sure the back shoulder is staying really still. If that back shoulder stays still, we can't rotate. So you see here, I'm pulling off the ball, 
if this is coming through. Now, the, the, the big thing I want you to do whenever you start working the lower body and you start getting up on your feet from the down the line, if you do see this left shoulder start to appear on camera a little bit, that's okay, but you really want to maintain that feeling that, that, uh, that your shoulders are staying really square because that momentum of the bat will carry you through a little bit. Now these drills are very feel oriented drills. These are what I like to call feel drills. At Pro Speed Baseball we have technique and we have feeling and we like to separate those two and use technique to get into the right positions and then use our feeling to get the technique right without thinking about it. So that's exactly what these drills are built for. So if you want to see some more great drills that have both technique and feeling, feeling drills, go ahead and check out our power hitting series right here. You can check out that series. I'm going to play a clip out of one of the, the videos in that power hitting series at the end of this. And you can click on the link in that preview or in the description below. You can see that video plus the entire series absolutely free of charge. It's got some great stuff in there. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, plus one on Google, all that great stuff. Really helps. Good luck with your swings, guys. Good luck with your game, and I'll see you guys soon. Our body's the engine. It's going to be the thing that gets us a lot of power. And the reason, the most common reason of casting is because we get these shoulders spun right here, and what we have to do now is rip the shoulders open to get our hands back to the, the ball, and we can create centrifugal force, and now our hands have to go away from our body to get to the ball. Now to fix this, the first thing we're going to do